Hello Aquarius. This is your reading for the 2nd through the 3rd. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Of course, this reading is not going to resonate for everyone. You guys, please take out of it what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Alright guys, let's see what's going on for you. Feeling very attached to someone. Um, not feeling too happy right now, I feel. I, I think that um, a lot of you are wanting to like break free of something here, okay? Ace of Wands. A sexual attraction to somebody. Some of you feel really drawn to someone. And for others of you, somebody feels very drawn to you. Um, and you may have you may have a somebody with a level of, of obsession with you, okay? Capricorn energy, fire energy there. Aries Leo Sag. Eight of Cups here. I feel like this is somebody that keeps coming and keeps coming um, regardless of what you say to them. They keep coming back. Um, and, I, and I'm getting that a lot of you have tried to walk away from something as well that you're constantly feeling drawn back into. Okay. Let's see what's going on. The tower. Hmm. Maybe some of you have broken up with someone else and um, and maybe you broke up with this person because you feel so very attached to someone else or either, you know, this is the same individual with the level of obsession with you that um, is like they just cannot stay away. They keep coming back and keep coming back and it's like, you know, there's nothing that you can do to like deter them. No matter what you say, no matter, you know, how hurtful you may come across, if you have, I'm not saying that you have, but it's like nothing keeps them away. There's nothing you can do, okay? Four of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody that's really um, focused on having a relationship with you or you're focused on um, having a relationship with them. But I don't feel like it's, it's, you know, it doesn't have the stability, I feel, that you guys are looking for because maybe there again, there's like this level of obsessiveness that you feel or possessiveness that you feel coming from this individual or either you're feeling like this towards them, like maybe... You know, it's just strictly this sexual thing and um, you, you're just not with that, okay? Hang on one second, guys. My apologies, guys. My neighbor, I saw him walking up to the door, so I went ahead and paused it. But <clears throat> yeah, it's like, you know, you're not really sure if this is something that is healthy is what I'm getting here. You feel very strongly attracted to this person, too. And um, you, you kind of like, you, you want a relationship with them because you do feel so very drawn to them. But at the same time, you know, I, I feel like there's been a lot of conflict between the two of you because you kind of maneuver differently is what I'm getting, okay? Yeah. Hmm. This person sees, I feel like, their happiness um, revolves around you. And they want to give you the freaking world, okay? You make them happy. But at the same time, it's like... There's something that they're not aware of about themselves here. And I don't think that they, this person feels like they're doing anything necessarily wrong. And they don't understand really why, um, why this situation is the way that it is here. Let's see. And I think they make you happy too. But there again, there's just this, there's something that is throwing it off for you. The Three of Wands here. Hmm. They would like for you 
to initiate sometimes is what I'm getting here. They want you to, you know, because I, I'm getting that this person is, is always the one that is trying to like get you to see, you know, what you guys have or how they feel about you. And it's like, they just want to be happy. They want to be happy with you and they want you to see that you can be happy with them as well is what I'm getting. Yeah, strong Aries here. We have Aries, Scorpio energy, um, Piscean energy here. Capricorn. And I feel like this is mostly about this other person and the way they feel. The King of Swords. And you're really just trying to figure out, you know, you want stability. And you want, you want somebody that... You know that that has that spark but also has a level of stability in themselves and realize that you cannot make them happy that they need to make themselves happy and so you're really just trying to take your emotions out of it and think about this thing like reasonably logically I feel like you're attracted to this person but I don't know if if you know your feelings are as serious as theirs are their feelings are rather. Then we have the page of coins. Hmm. What what I'm getting here is that um, you don't know if you can be happy with this person. Like you're very you're very leery about this situation here. And um I'm thinking that this person, they want to apologize to you for something. And I'm thinking, what I'm feeling is that the apology is, is for nothing. It's basically just to kind of get back in your good graces is what I'm feeling. Um, it's almost like apologizing just for caring for somebody almost. I don't know if this person has a lot of self-esteem, to be honest with you. I don't think they have a lot of self-esteem here. Because if they're apologizing, you're like, what are you apologizing for? You know, like, like I'm sorry, I just want to be with you. That kind of thing is what I'm getting here. We belong together, even. Hmm. Or maybe you guys are feeling like you need to apologize to them for for something, but still not really wanting to be like all in this situation. Not fully, um, because there are no cups here. There's just a lot of, um, you know, physical attraction. Well, there's the Eight of Cups here. But, you know, that's a lack of emotional fulfillment, you know? Hmm. And the Eight of Wands. I think you guys, you know, you probably receive like this bombardment of communication from this person. Love messages even. Um, of how much you know you make them happy they want to be happy with you you guys can be happy together let's start over let's start new you know i'll do things differently that sort of thing but i think you know for the most part i feel like you guys you know you want to communicate about the stability in this relationship about the level of unhealthy attachment that you feel that um, is going on here. A lot of you are getting so fed up that you actually are wanting to move locations, I feel. If you live near this person or they know where you live at because maybe they come to your home um, even here, okay? So, yeah. Sagittarius energy is here. Um, Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, maybe. Leo, Aries, Pisces, Scorpio. 
Alright guys, so that is what I have for you and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.